Aston Martin sold about 3,000 vehicles in the first half of this year, a 224% increase in overall sales. More than half of them were DBXs. Needless to say, Aston Martin has big plans for the DBX. Let's get into it on Mountain Roads. You're going to hear a lot of references to Mercedes-Benz, but I promise you, this episode is about the Aston Martin DBX. The big reason for this is back in October 2020, Mercedes-Benz increased their stake in Aston Martin from 5% to 20%. The result of this increased partnership, if you will, is that Aston Martin received access to new cutting-edge powertrain and software technologies and components, including next-generation hybrid and electric drive systems. And who better to lead Aston Martin as their new CEO, none other than Tobias Moores, the former lead of Mercedes-Benz AMG division, who took over Aston Martin in August 2020. As for the big plans for the DBX, it was Mr. Moores in an interview with Motor Trend that said, we are going to use the platform of the DBX and create an even sportier approach for that car. We need different body styles, more bang on performance, more aggressive body style, things like that. The first new DBX coming should be the mild hybrid version. This mild hybrid DBX could borrow from the Mercedes-Benz parts bin and use the 3 liter turbocharged N96 with an electric starter motor found in the AMG 53 series. This engine also benefits from an electric compressor that helps the turbo build boost at low engine revs. A 9-speed automatic, we think, would also be the transmission of choice, similar to the 53 series. In the AMG GLE 53, this engine setup is good for 429 horsepower and 384 pound-feet. For the GLE 53, 0 to 60 comes in 5.2 seconds. Curb weights are close, however the DBX is a bit heavier, so it may lose a tick or two off the 0 to 60 time. In the interview with Motor Trend, Mr. Moore said this mild hybrid DBX should be revealed by the end of this year. Next up after the mild hybrid is the high performance version of the DBX. Don't expect it to be a DBX AMR. As Mr. Morris has claimed, we're not going to use AMR for a sub-brand because Aston Martin is a performance brand. Instead, the high performance DBX might be called the DBX S. This high performance version would be going after the likes of the Lamborghini Urus. The DBX S may offer the 5.2 liter twin turbo V12. I'll say that again. The DBX S might get the 5.2 liter twin turbo V12. This V12 is used across the Aston Martin lineup with different levels of power. In the 2022 DBS, it makes 715 horsepower and 663 pound-feet. In the V12 Speedster, it makes 690 horsepower and 556 pound-feet. For the DB11, it provides 630 horsepower and 516 pound-feet. The Lamborghini Urus makes 641 horsepower and 627 pound-feet from a twin-turbo V8 and gets to 60 in 3.2 seconds. While the just currently released Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT makes 631 horsepower and 626 pound-feet, also from a twin-turbo V8. The Turbo GT gets to 60 in 3.1 seconds. We think these would definitely be the performance targets for the high-performance DBX-S. The DB11 V12 tune looks like a good place to start and go up from there. But we'll have to wait and see what Aston Martin has in store for the DBX-S. Mr. Moore says we should see the DBX-S revealed sometime next year. Oh, and don't be surprised if another Austin Martin vehicle also gets the V12 treatment. <laughs> Advantage! <laughs> Following the DBX-S will be the DBX plug-in hybrid electric vehicle in 2023. This version of the DBX is said to be getting the same setup as the recently released Mercedes-Benz GT63S ePerformance. This setup combines a twin-turbo V8 with an electric motor on the rear axle. In the GT63 SE Performance, this makes 831 horsepower and 1,033 pound-feet. We don't think the DBX PHEV will receive the same tune as the Mercedes-Benz and may only make around 700 to 800 horsepower. After the release of the new powertrains, a couple of new body styles may join the DBX family. It is believed the first to join will be a coupe-style DBX. Then we think we can expect an extended wheelbase version to allow 7 passenger seating. We think the new body styles will start with the 4 liter twin turbo V8, although by the 2024 release date the engine selection is anyone's guess. If these new body styles would get the full array of the newly released powertrains is also anyone's guess. 
although we're hoping they will. If you can, or you could, which DBX would you go for? Let me know down below. If you're still watching, go ahead and click that thumbs up so we can get Mountain Roads out there and take over this mother If you're really feeling generous, go ahead and give me a Mountain Roads takeover down in the comments. And then stick around for some other upcoming vehicles. There are some great ones coming. We'll see you next time on Mountain Roads.